Hey guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. I wanted to just jump on here today and share a little something with you. I am working um, out here in the hot sun. I have, I just did a video, by the way, for those of you that were trying to watch my live video. I tried a new app. I'll leave it out there because the the conversation was good, but unfortunately there was no video, so I apologize. But um, woo. I had to go and grab shoes. My feet were cooking on this deck also. Okay, not only am I going to make a pie, but I am also going to make just some leftover, I had leftover uh, pie dough and I just sprinkled it with cinnamon and sugar and I'm gonna bake those also. But let me just show you how things are set up here, okay? All right, in the grill. Woohoo, it's hot. It's hot outside and it's hot in there. All right, you can see my rocks on the grill. That's, these, some of them, this is my heart-shaped rock from my, uh, flower bed the mountain boy had gone out and grabbed for me. The purpose of the rocks is that you will set your pie dish or your cast iron, whatever you have, on the rocks. That way it's elevated. Your two inner burners are off and your outer burners are on medium. And that will enable you to create a convection once the lid is closed because you, I'm going to put my pie dish here and then the heat can go under it and around it. So it's going to cook my pie just like it would in an oven. So just bear with me here while I set this down and put the pie in so you can see. Okay. Give my elbow. All right, so there we go. There's my pie dish in there. I'm going to grab these and just stick them on the parchment paper up here. And over top of my pie, that should be fine. That shouldn't hurt anything there. Actually, I'm just gonna pull that piece off so it doesn't get into my pie, and we'll call it good. There we go. Okay, so I just want to make sure that was gonna close. Okay, so you can see my pie in there. Yes, there's a heart on it. If for all for those of you that know me, I find hearts everywhere. I find heart frothy hearts in a frothy mud puddle and. A stump that looks like a heart and hearts in the cloud I see them everywhere so anyway it's just my thing it's how God shows me that everything is cool but anyway this is my pie I'm going to uh, jump back on and show you how it looks when it's finished but this is just an amazing way to keep your home cool I've got my dinner cooking in a Sun oven I've got my dessert cooking in the grill and my home is staying nice and cool on this extremely hot northern Idaho day it's like pushing 91 I'm not sure it might even be hotter than that looking at the thermometer it's looking like it's over a hundred so just stay tuned this is a great way to utilize your grill to make breads and everything and like I said your two outer burners are on medium your inner burners are off and you just put rocks on there um, those are about two inches inch and a half two inches high and you want to make sure they're kind of level so that way when you're setting your stuff on there they're not leaning one way or the other this is going to have a lot of juice and I certainly don't want that all over the inside of my grill um, but you can make your breads your cookies your pastries everything this way so it makes it really nice and uh, you know if you're out of power or uh, don't have a means of cooking it's a great way to do it so there we go she's closed I'm gonna spin this around how's that for hot I knew it was hot my feet were cooking on the porch so that gives you an idea of what we're looking at today here in northern Idaho. It was like 40 degrees this morning. It's insane. Okay, so I'm going to let that cook and bake in there, actually. And I will jump back on here and share the outcome with you. And I'm just curious, you know, how many of you use your grill to cook? And what do you bake and cook in it? And have you gotten, you know, to this level where you're actually using, using it like an oven? Do you use a sun oven? What are the things you make? I would love to know. I'd love to hear from you. Leave me some comments, okay? Stay tuned. I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, I am back on. I put this on the grill. At quarter to 12, it was around 250 in temperature. It's now 350, and it is 1 o'clock. So an hour and 15 minutes is what it took to, to bake. So it takes a little longer. These are just little dough sticks. They're real tasty. Uh, you can do it like crackers and cut them up like that as well. But there you go. Does that not look just delicious. It smells even better. <laughs> I'm going to spin this around. Okay, guys. So this is an ideal way to process your food, bake your food, cook your food between the grill, 
um, the all I use the All American Sun Oven. I am now introduced to the Solar Vore Oven and really love it. And you can find those by going to treyerwilderness.com/solarvore, and you can go and find the All American by going to treyerwilderness.com/sun oven. Um, there are special deals available for you uh, for joining or going across through Trayer Wilderness and um, they are a great way to cook your food in the heat of the summer to keep your home cool. It's also for us it's a great safety feature because it is so dry here. This is our fire season. July 1st we had the threat of a fire, had the mountain man and my dad knock on out to put the fire out that our friends noticed on their way here. We would have been burned out of here. So. It's really important to be careful and we can do our due diligence by just um, cooking our food carefully. Open fires are dangerous. There's always a breeze out here this time of year. So between the grill and my sun ovens, I've got it taken care of. And like I said, you can bake your breads and everything. And using cast iron is a great way both in the sun oven and on the grill because it holds the heat. So when you shut the uh, unit off or remove it from the sun or the clouds come in, your cast iron is still going to stay hot and continue to cook your food. So I just wanted to share this for those of you that aren't f aware that you can use your grill this way. It's it's a great way to do it and it I'm going to show you this again. I mean it moved away from the sides of the pan. It's all juicy and it didn't overcook. It's just wonderful and a little bit of, I wish we had our goats still that we would be using homemade ice cream on this or making homemade ice cream to go along with this tonight, but not the case. So anyway, I'm really glad you guys joined us and thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, visit our website at treyerwilderness.com and you can also find my radio show by going to iTunes treyerwilderness.com slash iTunes will take you directly to Mountain Woman Radio. I'm going to just end the video by showing you this pie one last time. You guys take care and enjoy your summer. God bless.